Good afternoon and welcome to today's news brief. Eric Santillan, Municipal Director of Civil Protection, asked the people of Los Cabos to be prudent and congruent on Christmas Eve. He asked that gatherings be of no more than 15 people and said that the recommendation is for these gatherings to preferably include only immediate family, ideally only those who live within the same household, because in recent weeks there has been an increase in the number of new COVID-19 cases. Regarding the sale and use of pyrotechnics, Santillan pointed out that what was authorized is only and exclusively the sale of sparklers. No explosive firecrackers are allowed. He also said that yesterday, December 23rd, they started patrolling and they confiscated the fireworks that were not authorized for sale. Eric Santillan reported that supermarkets and grocery stores have a large influx of people and he asked the public to refrain from going shopping unless absolutely necessary. Even though the stores are following all the corresponding sanitary measures, it is necessary for people to help by going to the small nearby shops to avoid gathering in crowded spaces. According to the latest report, the municipality of Los Cabos has around 180 active COVID-19 cases this Christmas week. To date, unfortunately, 252 people have died of this viral infection. This scenario calls for a different Christmas Eve and Christmas celebrations, where small gatherings with family and friends must consider everyone's health before all else. In an effort to avoid an increase in cases and deaths from the pandemic, the COVID-19 work group of the Business Coordinating Council of Los Cabos is asking everyone in our community to celebrate while observing social distancing. Julio Cesar Castillo said that they have been repeating the same request for many weeks now and pointed out that while the idea is to avoid large crowds and gatherings in general, if families are going to get together, they need to follow the protocols. There has to be disinfecting gel, people have to wear face masks, and it is important to prepare and serve the food and drinks following all sanitary guidelines. The recommendation is to have one person serve all the food and to avoid sharing dishes, glasses, and cutlery. Castillo added that the work group is also asking all businesses that are offering their services this Christmas holiday to continue to implement and follow the sanitary protocols that have been in place since the reopening of services. Personnel from various public safety departments will conduct patrols at the various public beaches across Los Cabos starting Friday and until the end of the holiday period. This is in order to guarantee that sanitary measures continue to be observed. Also, the sanitary authorities remind all members of our community and visitors that the public safety personnel will close the beaches once they reach 50% of the total capacity. At the entrance of each beach, there will be a station to take the visitor's temperature and offer disinfecting gel. While 50% of the staff from the general coordination of the Maritime Federal Zone are on vacation, there will be guards, as was announced by Javier Ontiveros, director of the Maritime Federal Zone in Los Cabos. He asked the population to follow all the protocols and, above all, collaborate with the elements of any public safety agency, since these protocols will remain in place until further notice. That is all that I have for you today. Have a very Merry Christmas and remember to tune in on Sunday for another edition of Cabo Mill News and Community Update. El día de hoy informamos sobre la petición de protección civil para ser prudentes en la celebración de este 24 de diciembre, el llamado de la mesa COVID a extremar precauciones sanitarias durante el convivio de Navidad y la realización de operativos en playas durante Navidad y fin de año.